tutorial is more on making uh, illustrations in Corel Draw X3. Uh, Corel Draw has a pop, uh, has a has a powerful, uh, I would say, a powerful e media, artistic media, wherein when you make lines, you can change this to a particular brush stroke. Just for example, okay, you're looking at illustrations here and. With this one, this was done very quickly, and I didn't use the brush or any brush. This was all straight lines, I mean straight, you know, ordinary lines. But then I changed it to artistic media, and that's what you get. And uh, you can also make a font to be artistic, like this one, without going to, you know, without changing the brush strokes and everything. So to just give you a clear clear idea of the tool, if I draw a straight line, I go to my Bezier tool and I go to okay, this tool here, Bezier tool, I make a straight line like that. Okay. With this one, I can change the properties of this line to a brush strokes. So I go to if you go here to your this pen tools and you go to this one which is artistic media, and in here in the drop down here you can see lots of artistic media and actually you can create your own anyway if I choose this one okay you have to click on it and if notice it became a brush stroke you can color it to black so that you could see how it looks like and I'll try to zoom in here see that line became a brush stroke and if I go to this option here for the thickness of the brush I could make it bigger and and not only that I can change the color of the brush strokes so basically that's the that's the beauty of the of artistic media not only nine lines you can also make shapes like for example I'm making a circle and I'll make that as an artistic media okay so you make a circle and click on artistic media and in here I'll choose this one, click, and I'll make it black so you could see. Now see it changed it as to you know an artistic ellipse. And I can also change the brush strokes, brush strokes uh, uh, thickness. And I can also change it. So for example, I want some kind of watercolor effect. So that's a watercolor effect um, brush, right? There's lots of options here. It's more on experimenting with it and changing the thickness of the lines or the brush strokes. Okay, just delete that. Now let's let's go to examples. Okay, so this is what I did. Okay, of course, what I did here, I made, I traced this one. I didn't trace it, but I did. Uh, I redraw this this brush here and here is the outcome of my brush so all of these are lines that I created okay. I'll just delete this one so once you're done with this one you can highlight uh, I mean you can make a crossing window to select it I'll just move it go plus sign I'll just move it over here to the right side then I'll do my artistic media and then I'll choose I'll choose this one first there and then I'll make it black so that I can see how it looks like it's amazing because from from a vector image which is all ordinary lines and it becomes brush strokes and I can change even the thickness of the lines yeah. and you notice it's only one click and it becomes an artistic or a creative uh, artwork. It's more like a clip art. Now, we're not done with this. We can also color this uh, because since since it is an outline, it's just an outline. If I put a box here and colored it and put this to back, okay, I go arrange order to back of page. You notice that it is only an outline. It doesn't have any fill. So with that option you can always go to your you go to your polyline tool and then you can create 
a fill behind it. Okay, so you trace it. Doesn't matter because you're doing an illustration. And then when you're done, just double click. And then you can color it. See, I want to color it this way. And then put this behind. So go to Arrange, Order, to back of page. Then you can always edit those lines. Now, if you're really picky and you you don't want that, you know that the lines are going out, you can always. So what you can do is you can, okay, you zoom in, and then instead of using this polyline, you can use the bezier tool, and what you do is just click, 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 click because like I said we're doing an artistic illustration here so the uh, the lines really doesn't matter and then you close it okay once you see the arrow close now that then you can put the fill okay and then make sure to put it behind so you go arrange order to back of page and you can say you want to make a, a gradient you can go to this gradient here direct to draw Transparency, click. Okay. Okay. Now you can do this part here. You go to Bezier, Bezier tool and click, 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 and then close. Okay. Then let's choose a different color there. And then put that behind. So go arrange, order to back of page. And you can always make some, you know, some effects like that. And if I zoom out here, it's looking good. So now the only thing I have to do is this part here. Just click, 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 click. And I'll try, say, pink color. And then go arrange, order, tobacco page. And I can make interactive transparency tool or this way, doesn't matter. Now, if you notice, that's a powerful tool because you can make illustrations out of just simple lines like this. That's the same thing that what I've done here in the pencil or, or actually in the, just gonna zoom out here. See, this pencil is the same thing. That's what I've done. And this this one too. So these are all vector image. You can even make uh, text artistic. So with this YouTube, what I've done here, I typed in YouTube. Okay, make sure when you type in YouTube or any text, I'll do it right now, YouTube, okay. Then I'll select my font, say impact, make it bigger. Now you have to remember that uh, you have to make a white fill, okay? And then put an outline, a very thin outline, okay? And then this is important too. You have to make it curves. So you go to arrange and click on curves. Then you can make the artistic uh, artistic media artistic media and you choose which brush so you want to choose this and I want to make it different color so I could see how it looks like there now if you do if you if you know it it doesn't suit the the brush strokes you can always change it and make sure you also have to test the thickness of the the brush strokes so you want make that thinner Just this one, okay. So if that's fine, you can make it a different color, right? So that's all.
very nice technique.